Hello. Good Saturday morning. Actually, let me get my screen over here the right way. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Saturday morning. Cheerio. <laughs> I am live again. Uh, this is week, excuse me, not week. This is day four of my live videos uh, doing clay, working with polymer clay and promoting my um, mud clay art site. And I hope you can pop on today and see this fun little guy we're going to be doing. It's not going to be a long video. It's just going to be something quick and cute related to um, the season of October. That's about all I'll say right now. But if you saw the title, you already know what it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I am back. And like I said, what I'm going to do today is just a really fun little whimsical idea. Um, I don't even have it painted yet. This is my, my sample that I did. Um, my, my presenter's magic sample. Um, I didn't paint it because I didn't want to have to make three of the same thing, but I'm going to show you how to assemble this thing and then we're going to paint it together. But it's just a little fun little guy and you can make it any size. This was kind of like a mini version. So uh, let me go ahead and take you down below and we'll get going on this. Okay, I'm going to switch over here. Well, in a minute, I will switch over here. First, I want to say I hope everybody's having a good start to their weekend. And like I said, I hope this is a part of it. I'm Crafting with Kim, and you can find me on YouTube and Facebook. And like I said, I'm starting a new um, Mud Clay Art membership site. And what that's going to be is it's a private membership through Facebook where we will be doing all sorts of uh, monthly projects and having um, – members choices and all kinds of good stuff. I did put a link form, a sign up form link in the uh, comment section there. You can see that you can click on that and get a little bit more information about it. And you can also get with me and um, ask me questions about it if you want. But I really hope that you join up and it's actually going to be like $15 as a launch price. It's a that's only a one time membership launch price. And we're going to be doing a whole slew of different things. So like I said, I, I just really appreciate you uh, coming on and I'm going to uh, work with you and show you a lot of fun things. This is more of a beginner uh, class and maybe a little intermediate. But um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I see somebody in comments there already. Who have I got? on there with me oh I don't see it is okay I see three people but I don't actually see any comments okay so as you come on I really appreciate you give me a comment say where you're from uh, who you are and all that happy jazz so I can uh, know that I'm actually not talking to the crickets <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go ahead and switch my screen over now so you can see um, you can actually see the bigger version of what we're doing and you don't have to see me so much actually when I need to go this way Okay, and switch really. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can see my little uh, surface here. If you've never watched one of my my uh, tutorials, um, you can see basically what I'm working with is polymer clay. This is a Sculpey. I generally use the Sculpey brand. Um, this one is actually a Sculpey 3, which is like a semi-firm. In this particular project, you could use any of the oven baked. That's what these are. These are oven baked. And um, they're really user-friendly. And like I said, you're, you know, you can, there's no kiln or anything like that involved in it. So it's really easy to work with. And this clay is fairly pliable. It's got a little, but you could use the original Sculpey too. There's different brands out there. Okay. So here we have, we assemble this cute little uh, pumpkin cat. All right, so you find your, you get yourself a little pinch of the uh, the clay, and of course it comes in a block like this generally. And this one, um, you always have to condition it, and conditioning mainly means that you're just kind of getting it ready so you can handle it. Some of the clays are a little stiffer and they're a little hard to manipulate. This one's really not so bad. Um, and usually what you do is you know you you need it if you can get it needed, and then you can roll it out with your rolling pin, your handy dandy rolling pin and just kind of um, get it to where it's workable and pliable enough, okay? So once that's done, which like I said, this one's pretty easy to work with, um, then you just get your ball and you just kind of roll it, you know, into a big old ball, or any kind of ball size that you want, 
Okay. Obviously, this one's going to be a little bit bigger than the first one I did because I just wanted to um, show this as my like my little sample. Okay. So I've got it rolled out here pretty much. Now I'm going to flatten it out a little bit on the bottom. Just kind of do a little tap on it. Okay. Tap it down just because I want it to be able to sit. I mean, it's going to have legs on it too. I mean, legs, feet. It's going to have feet on it too, but I want it to be able to sit a little bit more sturdier. Okay, so I'll tap it down. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to get the uh, the pumpkin, um, what, I think they're called lobes, the little line sections on them that make it look like a pumpkin. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to, as a center point for my... Um, for my eyeball, I'm just going to put a little dot right there because that's about where the stem would go. You can see that. And that's kind of like my guide as I go around. So I'm taking this little tool here. This is a clay tool, but you know, you could probably use like, um, you need to have something that's kind of sharp and flat to do this. So this one works or maybe even do the back of a, um, uh, like a, a skinny paintbrush, like a thin paintbrush or something like that to kind of get the effect. Okay, um, an exacto knife would be a little bit too hard. I mean, a little bit too deep, I think, as lines is something a little bit softer. But what I'm doing here is I'm kind of starting from that point that I did. Okay, and I'm just lining down. I'm making like some little lines, but I'm actually putting a little bit of press on it. You can see that to give it more of a dimensional effect. And a lot of times you can't see these things with the raw clay until you actually paint them like they don't show up as much. So I'm just kind of going around like that and making these um, little, so these little indentions. Okay. And uh, I, there's no rhyme or, I mean, I'm just sort of kind of like um, eyeballing it and um Doing them a little bit on the, you know, trying to make them as even as possible. But hey, pumpkins are organic and they're all a little different. You can get the wonky pumpkins, you can get the ones, but none of them are exact. So I'm just trying to do these little lines right here. So how's everybody doing Saturday morning? Actually, if you're watching a replay, it might actually not be Saturday, but this is Saturday. This is actually, um, this is Columbus Day weekend, Columbus weekend, Columbus Day weekend, I guess. <laughs> so, um, yeah, by the way, when you're doing this, you don't have to worry about the bottom that much because your bottom is going to be not seen. So you're okay with that. All right, so I've got the lobes going on here. And um, from that point, like I said, I just put a little press on it and i um, just going to leave that about what that is right there. So that's pretty much good for that. Now I need to do the, the feet. How I'm going to do the feet is I'm just kind of made these other little balls. I made them about the same size. Okay. And I put a little press on them. I'm just kind of flattening them out a little bit. You know, you just roll the balls in your hand, take a little pinch and you roll them in your hand. But in this case, I'm kind of flattening them out a little bit because they're going to, I need it to be like, that's how the pumpkin's going to sit on there nice and, and you want it to be somewhat level. So, but you, I'm going to put them off to the side so you can see, uh oh, that one's not sticking. If they don't stick, which they actually will if you put enough pressure on them. I've got, and I'm going to use this a little bit. This is Sculpey glue, and it it's like almost looks like Elmer's glue, but it does work when you fire it, and it, it's like a champ. It works really great. So, like I said, I'm just kind of putting the little feet on here. Anybody is into the whole pumpkin and cat thing, they're really going to like this little guy. It's pretty cute. So I'm just kind of centering them, you know, like centering them, but putting them on the side so you can kind of see. And you want them to stick out a little bit. Actually, I'm going to pull that one over a little bit more so it looks more like a, a foot. Okay. And I'm just kind of sticking them. You can kind of do a little tap like that too, kind of make sure they're sticking. Okay. And just, you know, you want to make sure that it's seated. It looks like it's sitting pretty straight. I think that's pretty good right there. That'll work. Okay. And like I said, just kind of flatten it out so it looks straight. All right. So the next step is um, we're going to do the face. Okay. The face and the ears. Um, this has a little bit more. Well, it's not a difficulty level at all. 
but um, a little bit more finessing, I guess is a good word for it. So which side's going to be my front? Which side's going to be my back? I'm going to go with this side for my front. Okay. And once again, I, I got another little ball here. I just kind of proportionately eyeballed it what I think, you know, his size of his head might look like. And it's got, I'm going to flatten it out a little bit, put a little flat on there because we want to end up painting it and I want its face to look a little flatter. But here's what we're going to do for the ears. I'm actually going to take my fingers and I'm going to pinch it up. I'm pinching it up on both sides to kind of create some ears. Okay. And sort of make them look pretty even. There you go. It's not too bad. All right. Like I'm going to, here's where you need to kind of like smooth it out a little bit and make it look a little cleaner. Now his ear uh, areas are pretty big. I'm sort of pressing back into that so they don't look so large. His, uh, what do you call the inside of the ear? I don't know what, there's actual physical name for the inside of the, inside of the outside of your ear. Anyway, I'm putting a little point on it like that. See, that's pretty simple. Now, if you want to, you can press it down a little bit in the center, make it look a little bit more defined. You can either work this too, if you wanted to make it look a little bit more dimensional, you can actually take your tool here carefully Put a little line in there, okay, and do that kind of number, okay. And then you can actually make it look a little bit more like an uh, like the rim of the ear. You know, you don't have to go this this way because it's going to be painted anyway. You're just going to kind of do that number there. And if you need to clean it out, like make it a little smoother. I've got several. Oh, that's the wrong thing, Kimmy. Let me grab my right tool here let's see i've got this little this little guy maybe this one will work these are little silicone um tools and basically what they do is they kind of work as smoothers they smooth out your areas and they really work pretty good okay so i'm just kind of smoothing that out so it doesn't look so uh, rough inside but you got to be careful because this clay pretty much shows like almost any little mark that you do so you got to be careful with it all right anyway i'm going to Oops, smooth that one out too. All right, smooth that out a little bit. I'm going to call that good. It's got a little bit of a bump in it, but it's all right. And you can press it in a little bit more if you want. Okay, so we got the ears. And that's all we're going to do at this point because everything else is going to be painted on. We're going to paint the face on and the, and the, uh, the nose and stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do now is for the sake of Pressing, you know, keeping this on, I'm going to put a little bit of the Sculpey in the back, okay? I mean, uh, the Sculpey glue. I'm going to add a little bit of Sculpey glue. Hi, Robert. Um, no, this is not hard to do. It's actually pretty easy. This is a simple little project. Okay. And then, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and find my spot. You want to put it, I would say, put it a little higher. A little bit higher because uh, like he's looking up like the kitty cats looking up you want to put it too low okay now sometimes this might take a, and I can put a little score on it even if I need to see I put a little score and when you're doing you work when you're working with like ceramic clay that's exactly what you do you put a score on both sides and then you put some slip which is basically the wet mud and it holds it together polymer is a little different but this will stick. I just got to set it up there for a second. If it falls off, no big deal. I'll stick it back on in a second. Okay, so we've got the face and the head. Now what we got to do is, um, I guess I'll just throw the tail on. So the tail, actually, let me do the stem first. So I don't get in the middle. So here's the stem. All it is is I took a little bit of clay. Show you how I did that. And I just rolled it in my fingers uh -oh, a little bit more. Just rolled it in my fingers. Okay, and actually that's not enough right there. Get enough to it looks like something. But the stems are not big. And, you know, stems are gnarly. They're not real pretty looking. But all I did was just roll it and then I put a little twist on it. Okay, and then kind of bopped it a little bit on the bottom there to kind of give it a base. So you can see that I've got a little bit of like a flat surface. And then you just stick it right on there. I've already got this one ready. I mean, either one of them would have been fine, really. But I'll just go ahead and put my base on this one. In this case, I 
don't even need to put the uh, Sculpey glue on there. The only reason I did it on the head is because of the way it's sitting. You know, it's kind of precarious the way it's sitting out like that. And just as an extra protection, when I fire it um, in the in the oven, it'll be nice and um, secure. Okay, so there we go with that. All right, all right. So now I've got that little guy on, and you see what I did is I set him on there, but I did take my tool and kind of press it. Uh, you know, I kind of took the base and kind of pressed it down a little bit just to make sure that it it does stay on nice and tight. Okay, so we got the stem. Okay, now we're going to do the tail, and then we'll be done with the assembly part. That's pretty easy, really. It's like one, two, three, four, five, like six pieces. Well, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight actual pieces to this, which is really no big deal. And you can see they're simple little things to do. All right, so we got that. Now we're going to um, put the tail on. And once again, it's just a, a roll. Rolling it out. This is called coiling, by the way. All right, now the tail, I mean, you don't want it like super long unless you want a super long tail. You can make it curl, and that would be kind of cute to make it curl a little bit. Maybe I'll do that one on this one. I didn't do the curl on the other one, but I kind of like that idea. And so, you know, it needs to be a little bit on the fatter side, and it doesn't have to be perfect because, you know, once again, it's a cat tail. But I am going to do that little that little pressy idea with my, you can kind of see what it looks like. It's like a base so that it'll have something to adhere to. And let me see, can I get it to roll out? I mean, to, uh, if I can, I don't want it to be too thin because the cat's held too thin, but get a little curve on that. Right, we'll see. All right. And then I'm just going to obviously put it on like you'd put a cat tail on. I mean, like center it like the, Portion it where it would need to be with the cat. And there you go. I'll probably change this tail direction here in a second or fix that. Okay. You try to, oh, you know what? I am off center. I just realized that by looking at it. So here's a good way to do it. So it needs to be like back on the, um, kind of like centered on the head. And so I'm just, that's if you turn it backwards, you can get a better perspective on it. And I got to clean up my lobe right there because I got a little bit of the base on there. Like I said, you can't see much of this right now. Now, here's another little trick. To, I'm taking some cornstarch and I can just run the cornstarch on this and it smooths out a lot of those little bumps and nicks and things like that. It helps kind of smooth it all out. OK, so same thing with the I can actually take a little bit more cornstarch. And just kind of smooth it out and I'm just attaching the tail I'm actually attaching the tail okay let me see oh hey Tammy thanks for popping on this is just a little impromptu I'm not really having anything scheduled this week I'm just trying to get out there and do some lives but I appreciate you popping on and um, you know I'm on the pumpkin wagon again I figured I'd do something related to the season I'm not a huge Halloween person honestly but I thought this was a cute little cat. I did find this idea on Pinterest and I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. This is kind of cute. All right, so there's his tail. Okie dokie. And I'm just gonna make it curve any old way. I mean, you know, you can make it look any way you want to with the tail. All right, so that's pretty much it right there, guys. You can clean it up a little bit more, but um, so yeah. So we've got the cat assembled. The pumpkin cat is actually assembled right now. And so from this point, what I would do is take this and I would put this in on a cookie sheet, baking sheet of some sort. I put it in the oven for 275 degrees and I bake it. This one, since it's got that big fat base, I'd probably bake this for, well, I think I baked this one for at least 30 minutes um, to get it nice and solid. And then I just let it cool down in the oven too, because it gives a little bit more durability. So anyway, there you go. That's how you put it together. Now, not that that wasn't fun, but here comes the really cool fun part is painting the darn thing. That's always one of my favorites. Okay, so here is the, um, I just throw this on here because I don't want to get my silicone mat uh, with paint. So, okay, we've got a little kitty cat. So how are we going to paint him? Well, 
there's, you know, you can paint your cat any color you want if you want to be kind of funky and cool. I thought about painting in purple. I'm not really sure. Um, does anybody have any ideas of what color I should paint in? I was going to go with black and purple. I mean, not black and purple, but black uh, for the cat. And then, um, what do you call it? Pumpkin color, pumpkin orange for the pumpkin. Um, but I almost thought maybe I should do a blue pumpkin. Said I bought a blue pumpkin the other day and maybe do the cat a different color. But then that's changing all my paints around. So I guess I'll just stick with what I got and for the sake of the tutorial and, and go with this. All right. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the pumpkin, get the pumpkin out of the way. So, uh, like I said, once again, I am doing these lives this week. I mean, I love teaching. I love going live. Uh, but I'm trying to get as many as I can in because my uh, membership launch for um, the mud clay art is um, is open until the 15th of October. And so I'm really uh, trying to get some uh, get the word out there and let people know what I do and let them know like um, all the cool things I'm going to be doing. Uh, the Facebook page is ready to rock once everybody signs up i've got things on there ready to go and uh, all kinds of goodies for people to um to do and fun projects so first coat on here now uh, i am using acrylic paints just you know your your craft type paints that's all i'm working with right now and it doesn't really matter if i get the orange on the other areas of the cat because um, I'm going to be, and I am going to paint the bottom just for the sake of it. You know, it looks a little cleaner and it don't even matter if I get the orange on the feet because I'm getting the first base coat on and with acrylics, you can always paint right over them. That's the beauty of them. They're pretty forgiving that way. All right. So painting up the pumpkin here. Yeah. Anybody got any plans for... Yeah, he is a cute little guy. And thinking about it, you're right. You could make it like a hanging ornament out of this. How you ask me, you say? Well, um, I guess if I was going to make an ornament out of it, you have to have a way to hang it. So what could you do? Probably um, you can hang him from his tail like that. You could put a little string and a hook around and hang him from his tail. That would probably be the way I, I would do it. You could take a little bit of string or, or a fishing line and hang it from if you want it to be more straight up put a little bit around his neck and the tail and hang it like that excuse me camera hang it like that or you could just like i said just let him dangle from his tail um, but yeah you could definitely be an ornament if you wanted to make something that can hang like in a tree or hang up somewhere like on a wreath or something of that nature so that's the one thing too about working with clay is that you know it doesn't have to just bend the the project that it is like you could use clay to integrate it into your other uh, artistic or creative crafty projects that you're doing and uh like i said sometimes you well, i mean it's good for mixed media um you can add it on to you'll see that some of my things i'll show you uh, in the background before i finish if i remember um to do that before i sign off how you can I've actually done clay and put it on canvas and finished out like a painting, make it look a little bit more dimensional. It's just kind of a fun little thing to play around with. And um, and like I said, in the uh, group, uh, we're going to be doing some fun projects like this with little mini projects. But I also have some really awesome, you'll get a once a month project, like the main project of the month. And um, I've already, I will be having those completed for people to see and give them a couple weeks to get their supplies together. And then we'll be, we'll be doing that together. Like I'll be teaching them uh, online, either through live or Zoom, you know, whichever the preferences of the members and what they want to do. Um, but yeah, so that gives you an opportunity to uh, do a really cool project. And sometimes, like I said, sometimes they'll be fun and whimsical, and sometimes they'll be more functional, like for your home. So, like I said, I've got all kinds of goodies lined up for this for this class, uh, for this membership. Okay, so, all right, here we go. It's it's uh, air drying time, so I got to pull out my uh, my heat gun down below here, put a little bump on that. I'm gonna mute myself so I don't make a bunch of noise in your ear. Hold on a second.
Okay. So I am back. And I'm probably going to need to put a second coat on him. He looks a little streaky or she. I don't know. Maybe it's a little girl one. I think this maybe is a little girl guy. So, but right for right now, I've got the, the first coat on. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint his head. His, her, her head. I keep calling it him. Maybe in my mind, I'm thinking it's a guy. So I'll just leave it as a guy. But no, it looks kind of like a girl. So I need to say she. All right. So it's a she. It's a she cat. Ooh, a she cat. All righty then. So I'm just going to take a little bit of black here. And I'm going to do the head. And the ears. I'm going to do all of this in black. And I can repaint it. Like I said, as you're coming on, I'd really appreciate you giving some comments. Uh, check out that link. And I'd also really love it if you would go over to my YouTube page. You can see here. Where am I at? How's it in the direction? Ooh, turn my, there we go. Can I do it, Kim? Okay. That's Crafting with Kim down in the corner there. That's my, uh, that's my art business name. And you can find the same thing on YouTube. Okay. And I really appreciate if you would go there and subscribe to my YouTube page. I love that because, um, and you can hit that notification button. So every time I do this, you'll already automatically be live, know that I'm live and see what's going on. Please comment and, you know, share some love for me. I appreciate that. Let people know what I'm doing. Even if you yourself don't think that you're really into the clay idea, maybe you know somebody that is. You know, one thing that you, it's really cool to consider, especially this time of year, everybody's thinking about gifts and all that. And I know it's a big season for crafts. Um, there's a lot of cool projects that you can do with clay can, that can be gifts. And I have already put some of those out um, as freebies. You can always go back and, and look on my uh, Crafting with Kim Facebook page and see some of that information. But also in the membership, uh, we're going to have a lot of things that could also be utilized as gifts as well. And they can be personalized because you can actually imprint names on them and do all kinds of great stuff. All right. So kitty cat starting to come together. I got to think of a name for her. For her. I think the name. I should have left a little white tip on the tail. I guess I can repaint that too. All right. So there we go. Cat, cat, cat. Now I'm going to paint the legs as well. I mean the legs, the feet, the feet, the legs, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and paint them black, but I'll put a little white on them. I think I'm going to put a little touch of white on them. So I've just got a little teeny brush here I'm working with. It's looking good. I wish you could have taken them. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just kind of painting these guys. Now I'll probably have to put the heat gun on this because I need to um, make sure these guys are dry before I set them back down. Not so much I'm worried about what the bottom looks like, but I don't want it to stick to the, I don't want the paint to stir the whole thing to stick to the image. I mean, the, uh, not the image. What am I trying to say, Kim? Get your mind right. To the um, cardboard, paper, whatever surface I'm working on here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Saturday mornings are always a little rough for me. I guess I just I'm always out of the loop a little bit because I have a tendency to stay up too late on Friday nights. Yeah. So anyway, not that I'm some big crazy party or anything. I just end up staying late doing whatever. Okay, so um, I'm going to mute again so that I can put the heat gun on. Okay, I'm back. So like I said, you can see that um, it needs another coat and I need to clean it up a little bit. But for the sake of time on the tutorial, 
I'm not going to go through making that all nice and clean because I can always go back that on my own and do that. But I'm just showing you like you get the basic idea of what's going on here. Actually, this is going to drive me nuts. This one little spot. <laughs> so I'm going to have to fix it. And I, like I said, sometimes after I do the teachings, if something isn't exactly the way I want it, I'll go back and clean it up a little bit just because I do want it to look really nice. Okay. So, oh, and see, I missed a spot right there. All right. And there we go. Okay. So, pretty much got the black on. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the stem and the tail. It's black out of the way here. All right. So, the stem and the tail, we're going to just do a brown stem, nothing fancy. Okay. Oops, too much paint. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever worked with ceramics or painted ceramics. I mean, it's a three-dimensional object, so you do have to make sure that you're getting all of your areas. You, know, you turn it around, make sure you're getting your little nooks and crannies, all those little spaces, and the uh, clay or even ceramics, sometimes they're pretty porous and they suck up the paint pretty quickly but okay and I need a little cleanup on that too on the pumpkin but I'm not worried about it it looks pretty pretty good so far all right so we've got all that done now let's do the leaf so our leaf I'm just gonna throw a little bit of this on here I said this is all pretty cute and simple there's nothing really major to this um, and I put my paintbrush back in my tool <laughs> in with my tools all right this is just a, a general i think this is kind of like called aloe olive or something like that i don't even know what the color is called but you can pick any green that you want you can add any detail color shading on it if you like i've got the edges here oops i just got on there a little bit i need to get a little smaller brush for this you can see you got your edges, and so you just want to get those nice and clean, too. All right. Now, we'll let all that dry, and I'm showing sure you what we're going to do with the with the head. Now, on this one, actually, you can see one now that it's painted. Oops, excuse me. I keep getting out of the camera. Sorry, guys. Um, that ha he's got this one, or she's got a little turn on her head. You probably can't see it too much in the camera, but it, it's kind of tilted a little bit. And actually, that's not bad. It kind of looks like, you know, got a little something going on there. But um, they're pretty centered as far as the tail and the head. But if you look at it from this perspective, you might be able to see that it actually has got a little bit of twist on it. But it's all right. It's all right. It's a cat. Cats get in all kinds of crazy weird positions. Is there anybody out there that actually has cats or loves cats? I know I've had this discussion on uh, with a couple of the other girls that I paint with, and everybody's either a cat or dog person, and more towards the other than than one. Um, I am actually probably more of a dog person. I've had cats, but um, dogs are just to me. I don't know a little bit more like lively, I guess. I not that cats can't be. I mean, I know they got a lot of personality too, but. Cats that I've had have always been just wanting to lay around not too much. <laughs> I don't know. I know when they're younger, they're a little bit more active and stuff. Okay, now let me see. What am I going to do with these ears? I guess I'm in the, the nose. I need to get a little pink. Grab this pink over here. You could do the inside of the ears white if you wanted to as well, but I think the pink's kind of cute. So I'm just going to use the pink in the ears. And I'm just putting a little bit of a color in there. Okay, there we go. Just a little dot. Clean it up. Kind of like a little triangle. Actually, let me clean that up a little bit. Okay. I need a little black on that one side because I smeared it on that one corner. I know everybody must be out doing something this beautiful. It's actually a beautiful fall Saturday. Lots going on, festivals and good weather to hang out and do something fun. 
Um, but like I said, if you do, if you're not seeing this now, maybe you'll see it on the replay. And I would really, like I said, I would love it if you could give me some comments and feedback um, and where you're seeing me from. If it's on my YouTube page, if it's on my Facebook page, or, um, you know, I've got both my personal and my business page going on. So whoever one you see me at, I really appreciate you letting me know. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to just do a little bit of white. Grab my white. Here we go. Here's some white. Do the eyeballs. Okay. Okay. Now, of course, you can do your eyes. Lots of ways to do the eyes. Um, you can just do them and just do like little dots in the center of the white if you want. Uh, you can make them look more like cat eyes, which is the, the little line down the center, like a, hmm, what do you call it? What do you call that? It's not really a triangle. I mean, not a triangle. It's not really a, it's more like a slit. You do like a little slit down there, okay? Down the center of the eye. All right, I'm just going to put a little... face on it right there you don't have no whiskers per se or she doesn't have any whiskers I think I'm gonna paint that little guy pink all right yeah maybe I'll put a little pink in it to the to the tongue Okay. All right. Now what we got? I'm gonna let those eyeballs dry before I can do anything else. All right. I think I might get a little bit bigger. Kind of make it look like a wispy. Taking my brush and kind of stroking it out to the side. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much what we got going on right now. I do need to put something in the center for the eyes. Like I said, I could do it either way. I could do, I'll probably, like I said, just make a simple little dot in the center. Because um, these eyes are kind of small for the slat, I think, maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to put some a little dot in there. Okay. I've got another third person that's watching that I see, but no comment that I can see. All right, here we go. Oops. I know this white is not dry yet, but I'm going to kind of like do a, just a little dot like that, even though it's not dry. And if I don't I don't press in there too hard, which I just did, but actually that looks kind of cool. I stood off the side. So, yeah, I kind of created like a little bit of a kind of a slanted eye effect on the cat, and that turned out kind of cute. Now, this is a little bit thick, I think, as far as like his mouth part goes. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Okay, and he needs, a, no, she needs a nose too, doesn't she? That's what's missing. I need to do a little pink nose on her. I guess I'll do a pink nose. All right. Let's see here. All right, something like that. Of course, you know, you can paint it up a little bit differently than this one. I'm sort of winging it. I probably should have had a cat reference, but I think that's pretty close. And like, it looks, actually, this one looks Chinese. <laughs> it looks like a Chinese Chinese cat. Uh, I might end up repainting the face, because like I said, sometimes I, I don't particularly like what's going on when I do the live, but I'll fix it up and make it look like something else. Oh, you know what I did want to do, though? Is I want to put a little white tip on the tail and the feet just for the sake of doing something kind of different with it. Okay. So what's everybody got planned for um, the holiday season? October is like passing us by already, coming into dang November already. Isn't that crazy? 
I don't know. I'm just sort of like putting a little touch on the feet for some reason. It kind of just bumps it up. Just like around like that at the top. Yeah, like I said, anybody got any uh, really like family plans going on? I know we're not into Thanksgiving yet, but they're going to go visit family and or um, what you got going on for Columbus Day? Anybody know much about Columbus? I usually have my artifacts, which is means that I talk about um, something related to what we're talking about. And actually, I've probably done some facts on Columbus Day, but it, I just didn't think to do that this morning. That just kind of like showed up out of the blue. But normally I, I do that. I don't know, they're just something kind of cute and different. You can, like I said, you can paint it up and make it anything you want. But um, there you go. So that's the little cat, pumpkin cat. Like I said, that face looks a little funny. It looks like a, looks like a Siamese Asian cat. Ain't nothing wrong with that though, right? Okay, guys. So, like I said, on the replay, um, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Um, and I will be, let me change this around again. I have to go back to this one. Uh, eh, here we go, wrong screen. Let me back up there. All right, turn me around here this way. It ain't going to work. I'm having a little bit of a delay today on uh, StreamYard. You can see that on my side, maybe it does. It won't show that way on the uh, on your end. But on my end, it looks like there's a little bit of delay going on in the camera. And sometimes that happens and sometimes that does. I've, I've got two dual screens going on here. So I can't really figure out, you know, which one's going to delay and which one's not. Um, anyway, yeah. Jumping on late, I will go back and watch some replay. Hey, Steph, how you doing? Yeah, I just basically painted up this. Uh, we, we assembled this little guy here. It's like a little pumpkin cat from the polymer. And here's a little presenters. I had a little smaller version of it, and I just kind of painted it up like a cute. It's like a pumpkin cat. Of course, you can do it any way you want. This face is kind of funny. It looks kind of like a, I always said, it looks like an Asian, like, Siamese cat. <laughs> I might have to do the thumb around the face again, but. Yeah, it is cute. It's a cute little idea with the pumpkin cats, and you can make them any size you want. But, you know, this wasn't a very, very long tutorial, so I think uh, most people might be interested in going back and take a look at it because it was really simple to make. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and try to enjoy some of my Saturday. It's a beautiful Saturday here in Florida. I hope you uh, folks are doing the same. I love you guys. And like I said, if you would pass the word on, check out the link at the top of this comments with my mud clay art. And, um, you know, give it a try. Hey, you know what? $15 membership launch price. That ain't nothing. And if you decide to get in there in a month and decide you don't like it, no big deal. You can just cancel out. But at least you can get an idea of what we're doing in there and uh, get some projects under your belt and learn a little bit about uh, polymer clay and actually other types of clay, too, and plasters. And we're going to do a lot of different things besides just working with polymer clay. All right. So love you. See you soon. Bye bye.